What's up guys? It's Atmotac. I'm back and this is a video that you guys have been waiting on for a long time. We've got the full length GK1 and we have the shorty GK1. We're going to see how they compare as far as power goes. We've got some cool stuff that I'm going to shoot it at. Let's check it out. Now as you can see we got Joe back from the hospital finally and he's ready for round two. We have a fresh block of ballistics gel. I've been waiting on this for a while. And of course, we're going to run both of these through the chronograph and show you the actual power numbers of both of them and see how they compare. These are both the newest V3 model. As you can see, this one just has the shadow pattern tank on it instead. A little bit of custom work by Kelly at Crazy Cool. Yes, you will lose a little bit of power with the shorty, but the main benefit to the shorty is you can actually carry this and potentially conceal it and still get lethal energy numbers out of this gun. The stock size GK1 is just crazy long. There's really no way you're gonna actually carry this comfortably, but it does put out a ton of power. We're gonna start off with the chronograph numbers. As you can see, they're both filled to 5,000 PSI and they're each loaded with six rounds of these 47 grain vomit knockers. Now we have the full length first. 849. Duplicate. 839. Duplicate. 829. 825. and that's all. For shot number one, we have 72 foot-pounds out of the shorty and 75 foot-pounds out of the full length. Our ending pressure is 27 MPA out of the full length and 24 MPA out of the shorty. Now you can actually get quite a bit more energy than what these 47 grains produce if you use a 50 grain slug but I ordered some and they still haven't shown up, so I just went ahead and made the video. These still give you a good reference for how much power you can make with each one. In my experience shooting with both of these, you can get around 13 shots at full power with the shorty and anywhere from 18 to 20 out of the full length when it's set at full power. Also, your shot string is a lot more consistent with the full length that extra 2.2 inches of barrel and tube makes a pretty big difference. Now moving on to the ballistics gel, we have the 47 grain varmint knocker and we have a 38.5 NSA hollow point and a 33.8 hollow point from NSA. I'm gonna shoot one of each out of both of these guns and it'll stay tethered at 4,500 PSI the whole time. Here we have the full length. So we have a full 16 inch pass through with the 47 grain solid. And then we have five inches with the 38.5 and some really nice expansion. And then we have four inches with the 33.8 also with very nice expansion. Moving on to the shorty, we have the same rounds and the same pressure.
That's way louder. Okay, so that's very similar. Another full pass through with the 47 grain, about five inches with the 38.5. Only difference is the 33.8 seems to have penetrated an extra two inches versus the full length one. And I think that's because there was less energy behind this slug, causing it to not dump its energy quite as fast as the full length one did. But still, that's very cool. We got some very good expansion out of these rounds. So check it out. That's the 38.5 grain out of the full length. 33.8 grain out of the full length. And then 38.5 out of the shorty. 33.8 out of the shorty. So they definitely perform like a hollow point should. Not too bad. Last but not least, it's time to get Joe's professional opinion. We're about 15 yards away. We have the shorty with the factory moderator and the 47 grain vomit knockers. hit him right there on his brow you can definitely see a hole where it went in and I didn't really see much damage until I looked at the slow-mo and I could actually see the skull right here cracking and bubbling out a little bit so good penetration through the skull in my opinion that's definitely a lethal shot let's try the same round out of the full length full length now same round same pressure same moderator. Looked like it caved the skull in and just ricocheted off the side and came back out. All right, we've got another one of these rounds in the shorty now. I'm gonna try to hit higher. That was the 47 grain in the shorty and look at that it actually penetrated out the back too so yeah shorty and the full length are both definitely lethal got the 38.5 grain hollow points in the shorty we're gonna put a couple rounds through them oh knocked them off He definitely didn't like those. Doesn't look like any of them came out, but they did a lot of damage on the inside. Let's do the same thing with the full length. Doesn't look like any of them came out the back with the full length either. But those hollow points must really be opening up inside, doing a lot of damage. Joe might need another trip to the hospital. <laughs> 